We introduce a new sensing technique to sense finger touch on everyday uninstrumented surfaces. This is based on the motion difference between touch and non-touch. For example, when our finger touches a static surface, it is easier for the finger to keep static. However, it tends to move around when we keep it in the air. Difference also exists when the finger is moving around. When touching a surface, it will naturally generate some acoustic of various frequencies. These difference can be captured by an finger-mounted IMU sensor easily. Here we show the difference with a live stream FFT analysis. By collecting enough data from various touching and non-touch gestures, we are able to train an algorithm to robustly sense finger touch on everyday surfaces. Empowered by our touch sensing technique, a single IMU could be transferred to different tools to support various interactions on everyday surfaces. Here we show an example, which is a 2D pointing device on a table. According to our study, our sensing technique works on a variety of everyday uninstrumented objects, including table, wall, sofa, chair, handbag, clothes, and even on our skin, such as arm and back of hands. Actually, it works on more surfaces than what we just tested. Here we created some applications to show how our technique could be used to support various touch interactions. All the applications we show here are working real-time. First, we use the finger rotation that naturally happens it moves around to control the mouse cursor. A tapping gesture can make a click. When the finger taps with its side, it triggers right click. The similar posture can also be used to scroll up and down. In this demo, our technique is used to support touch interactions for augmented reality. Instead of using expensive depth camera, our technique provides a cheap and robust touch sensing solution, which could easily be integrated into today's commercialized R, Mr. or VR devices. In this demo, our technique enables thumb to finger interactions. Users can just slide left or right to control the volume of the music. A pinch gesture could be used to pause or resume the music. Our technique can also enable back-of-device interactions. Here we created a touchpad using the back of a smartphone. Users can also perform touch gestures and use them as specific commands. Finally, our technique can also extend the smartwatch input interface to the back of hand or the arm. For more information, please refer to our paper.